This is my Game Boy Advance, and today I'm installing the Retro 6 Clean Amp mod. This mod improves your speaker quality and volume. Including soldering on the new speaker, this mod requires 6 solder points. This PCB is a flexible QSB. QSB means quick solder board, meaning it lays flat on the motherboard and flows down onto the solder points it needs. This is a great alternative to using wire, as it makes for a cleaner install. Desoldering the old speaker is really simple. Simply apply some new flux and solder, and heat up the pads and then pull the wires out. You can use this mod with the original Game Boy speaker, but mine was all dirty and didn't sound very good, so I'm going to install a new one today. The new speaker will connect to the points on the new flexible clean amp PCB instead of the old points on the Game Boy motherboard. First we need to align the PCB on the motherboard and then we flux up the points and simply flow the solder from the PCB onto the motherboard. This is a really easy install and I think it would be a great beginner project for anyone who wants to explore Game Boy modding for the first time. There isn't really too much to say about the install itself, so I'm just going to play this video of the install guide and hopefully if you're installing the chip yourself this can be a bit helpful. After every soldering job, you should clean up the board with some isopropyl alcohol. Once the install's done, we can reassemble the console and see the final result. So you can see here, it takes a little bit for it to kick in, so you're twisting it and longer than before, it doesn't kick in until you're about quarter of the way through the wheel, then it gets loud quite quickly, and then at the end, turning it up seems to turn it down, and go a little bit muffled, then turning it back downwards makes it go the loudest it can. I'd say to notice the audio improvements you really need to be at like a medium volume because when you're at a really high volume it goes all muffled like this and it just doesn't sound great. I'd say it's definitely improved from before as it didn't actually go that loud in the first place so I guess it's there if you want it. Personally I would never use it that loud. Personally I think this mod is a little bit unnecessary. 
I can see how replacing the original speakers that are all dirty uh, with new ones, but with the clean amp, I felt that it made the audio slider a little bit unstable. If you turn it up too much, then it turns off or goes really quiet and you have to turn for a little bit from zero to even get any volume at all. Personally, I don't think I'll be using this mod. Um, in, in any future Game Boys I do, that's more just of a personal preference. I think Retro 6's most impressive part for me has been the IPS display, it's been great. All these little mods seem to be extras that aren't really necessary, and if you just want a nice Game Boy experience, then I don't think all the little extras like the speaker mods and the D-Hum kits are really necessary. Personally, a shell swap and an IPS display is enough for me. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy this and found it helpful, then leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.